One piece of lingo you oftentimes hear in the syndication world is the phrase GP or LP or general partner or limited partner. What do these mean and how do they apply to you? Well, my name is Tilden Moschetti. I am a syndication attorney with the Moschetti Syndication Law Group specializing in Regulation D, Rule 506B and 506C offerings. Uh, we are going to go through what that phrase, what those phrases mean, the definitions, and how they apply. Use of the term GP or LP, which stand for GP, general partner, or LP, limited partner, are actually an anachronism. I say it's an anachronism because it refers to a structure under a LP, which is a form of, which is a organization that's set up as a limited partnership. Limited partnerships still exist and they're still very useful under very specific circumstances. However, most people doing syndications and private offerings have moved away from uh, doing LPs and have moved to putting their, pro their projects, their assets, and the opportunities in LLCs, limited liability companies. The reason is, is that over time, investor sentiment itself has shifted that need to so that uh, investors could feel more secure about what their own rights were in an LLC rather than an LP. So a GP or the general partner is you. You are the sponsor of it. So it's you who have some liability as it relates to the fund itself, you know, how it works and how it functions. So when I say GP, sometimes I'm talking, most of the time I'm talking about the manager or the sponsor. They're all the same person. So the GP is that person who's kind of in charge of it. They have some liability, but they're the ones who also are profiting from some of the, all the work that they're doing. They're actively engaged in the syndication or in the fund itself. The LP are the investors. So the LP limited partners. So they're the people who have basically no liability at all, except to the extent of the cash that they've invested in the fund or into the syndication. So that's the limit of their liability. And then they are then completely passive in the role. In the way that most limited partnerships are set up, or nearly all of them, is so that LPs have no voting rights and no control whatsoever. An LLC may have some voting rights for their investor members, but not always. So there always needs to be some voting rights available, but it, it will be very, very curtailed to much less. So that's what a GP is and an LP is and how they fit into syndication. So yes, we use those terms. They're not actual constructs within an LLC itself, but we do create the scaffolding around it to create basically the same type of thing. And for short, most of the time, you will hear a syndicator, sponsor, or an attorney talking about a GP or an LP uh, role. My name is Tilden Moschetti. I'm a syndication attorney with the Moschetti Syndication Law Group. Let me know if I can help you.